What's up, everybody? We're back, and we're playing Earthbound, and we are in the deep darkness, and we just won a battle against a gigantic pile of puke. That was very disgusting. I come up here and grab a magic truffle, because I know there's one here. Hey, there's a magic truffle at your feet. You got weasels on your face. There's the magic truffle. This is pretty much a dead end over here, but it's worth it to come here, because you get... What? Oh. You mean that guy comes all the way out here, too? We don't want our picture taken here. These aren't happy memories here. I'm sorry, man, but whatever. We're getting ourselves all nasty and stuff. Like, would you want to get your picture taken after running through a swamp that's all the way up to your eyeballs, literally? I didn't think so. Kaweek, village tendas, comes nobody. Far it's because, Queek. Another IQ capsule. Hey, who would have thunk that, right? Use it. Uh huh. It's pretty much the only use for IQ in the game, as far as I know, is Josh's ability to fix things. If it turns out that IQ actually determines how powerful your magic is, well, then I'd probably be kicking myself, because <clears throat> in that case, I'd just give him all the sky, because there's only so many things in the game that Josh can fix, and I'm sure even without an IQ capsule, he eventually would get enough IQ to fix all of them, so it wouldn't matter so much. But I don't know. Uh-oh. We got a... some kind of petunia, I remember. Yeah, demonic petunia. That's right. We'll just do the usual thing here and freeze him up. <laughs> Holy cow. That actually didn't work at all. <laughs> it did freeze him, though. Let's try fire. That would be the obvious other solution, right? There we go. Well, that was easy enough. So as we come out of this battle, we're gonna be our... We're, we're pretty close to the end of this, actually. This doesn't take that long to get through. It's just... Oh! Look at what we got here. It's completely broken. I thought I could fix it, but on re-examination, I noticed that there's no engine. Hmm. Okay. And here we have a couple of life noodles. All right. Now we're getting into another one of these long stretches of... Ooh. Oh wait, this is a manly fish, we haven't seen this. Um, I didn't know if that other monster was gonna get here in time to join the battle. I guess he's not going to, because he sucks too much. Or at least this way we only fight him one at a time, that helps. Because we're definitely gonna have to fight that alligator too, probably. Here he comes. Alrighty then, and over here next to the tree I believe there's another... Wait, no? I don't know, I've never, I've never actually found one of these before. I looked them up on the map, so I haven't really found these myself. It's not like I already knew where they were. I know I may have come across acting like I did or something, but <laughs> it made me seem cooler, but oh well. <laughs> Better luck next time on that. I think the other one is actually over here. No, well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for it, but I'm just going to check this area right here. Yeah, okay, there it is. All right. I mean, never hurts to have those, really. Yeah, we're almost out of here. Oh, what are these? Oh, that's fast. <laughs> oh, Pitbull Slug. Okay, whatever. Yeah, these are typically weak enemies that probably get pretty good experience. Sort of like the Foppies, but not quite that easy. Uh, they, they might be easy. I don't know. Well, they sure are coming across that way now. So, yeah. Yay on that. Good experience, too. The path is going to split off here, but it's actually just a big circle. They both go to the same place. So you come down here just a little ways into this path and get a souvenir coin, which I believe is um, actually... Wait a second. I need to... Yeah, we, we can drink that, yeah. 6 HP, wow. Still have all that? Go ahead and use the beef jerky, too. I don't know how well beef jerky and fruit juice taste together, but... Anyway, oops, no, don't give that to me. Give it to Josh. Oh, you know what? I might have to get something out of Josh's inventory first. That's what I thought. Drop the wet towel. And give the souvenir coin to him. I believe this is the best piece of armor for other... for the other slot for Tim and Josh that there is in the game, so... 176, hell yeah. You better believe it. So we're gonna head back this way, because it's quicker. Maybe not this time, because there's a monster there, but... 
Oh man, tell me. Oh, we got away from him. How about that? And that's where the path comes out, right over there. So, here we go. Okay, now it splits off again right here, actually. There's a little path that goes up here, but this will be worth it. Because... There's a rock candy! Oh man, not again. Jeez, you guys. Well, just between those last two battles, all three of us gained a level, so hell yeah. Automatic win? Nope. Uh-oh. Man, again? Dude, I just called you, like, earlier in this area, dude. Huh. Well, I guess because I haven't saved, like, in the game in a while. I sure, I really should do that, though. Just in case I screw up my save state again like I did that other time. Man, this is nasty. It's just, oh boy, what is this guy up here? He's sitting still. That's never a good sign. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a magic truffle on Sky. Because we got two. 87 PP, very nice. Uh, anything else? Any other consumables that we can... Uh, not really. I still gotta use that heavy bazooka, I tell ya. That heavy bazooka. You're talking like a redneck, I tell ya. Well... <laughs> Okay, do something here, Tim. Yeah, heal yourself. And heal her. And heal him. Alright. Now we're ready for this. You may have forgotten, but... I'm the return of Belch. I fought you before. Be you. Don't you remember my ripe odor? Belch has trained more and has returned much stronger. Belch has also changed his name to Puke. Barf! Vomit! Barf! Barf! Chuck! Chuck! Drown to death and puke! Don't you think that's an incredibly masculine taunt to throw at you? Why, yes it is. It most certainly is. Because you know how us guys are, we just love to poop and burp and... poop in our pants and all that stuff. I'm just gonna use a big bottle rocket because that thing is disgusting. Ugh. 277. Big bottle rocket will do 489. Uh oh, he's doing a continuous attack with smashes and everything? Well, I'm gonna fix that right up. Not again. Why are you going after her? You're such a meanie. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a minute and let her HP fill up. Because if he hits her again, you know, it, it's kind of irrelevant at this point if she's not filled up, so I'm just gonna give it a chance to... And that's a really good strategy you can use, too, you know, wait to put in your commands, or if, if, if you're in the middle of doing your turn, you can also wait for the text like so. Or, well, you know, you don't have to actually advance it. I think most of it goes automatically. Suddenly, Zack swooped down from the sky! Zack used his new power! PSI Starstorm! Here he goes. Cub Bluey! He's out of there. And so the three are four once again. 31,000 experience. And it was a Casey bat he left behind, huh? Zach's level is now 47. I don't know if he gains experience while he's gone. I don't think he does. But, big deal. I'm just glad he's back with us again. Yeah, I would, you know, we would have a conversation about that right now, but we're kind of sort of, you know, drowning in... Uh, deep darkness here, the swampy place. I really don't think there's that much else in here to... Dude, I defeated your boss. You should be running away. Oh, so not... Oh, man, 1045? What? Okay, you know what? I'm... I gotta stop here. Man, I gotta pay closer attention to that. Okay, next time on Earthbound, we'll fight this thing, so see you later.